Hey everybody, it's DG Tronic and I'm back with another tutorial video for you guys here. It's gonna be my very first Apple Motion 5 tutorial video. Let's get started. It's gonna be a very um, quick basic tutorial video, but the reason I decided to do this video is because I had a bit of a scratching my head situation trying to do some work with Apple's motion today because I didn't know where to look for um, the project that I wanted to do. The point of this video is to show you how to export an animated QuickTime video with alpha channel transparencies so you can superimpose them on any video or anything you want. It used to be very easy to do that. <laughs> In previous versions of Motion and Final Cut, all you had to do was basically um, choose animation as your render preset and it automatically exported the video with alpha channel transparencies. But Motion 5, even though, fun even though the functionality is there, it just looks a bit different. You have to know where to look for those options it doesn't come as an animation preset anymore so this is a low animated lower third that i just made today using uh, apple's motion and let's say i want to export this as a quicktime movie with an alpha channel transparency so i can superimpose it on anything i want what i have to do is go to share export movie in which case you get this dialog box and this is the tricky part this is the tricky one you're gonna have to be very careful about choosing the right export settings here these are your options do not choose H.264 because that I know for sure in this case will not support alpha channel transparency I myself had to choose one of the Apple ProRes solutions here to get the alpha channel transparency and I believe I chose this one, ProRes 422 Proxy. Then what you have to do, don't change anything else on this page, go to render and for color make sure your choice is color plus alpha. That's the right one to choose. Again, do not touch anything else on this page. Now all you have to do is click next, name your file here and click save and you will get a QuickTime movie with an alpha channel transparency so you can superimpose your animation on anything you want. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic Subscribe to my YouTube channel right here on youtube.com slash dgtronic for more tutorial videos, app review videos, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. I will see you in the next video.